Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can use your proxies for creating PHP scripts in order to retrieve remote location by actually hiding your real IP address. For this purpose we will use the CURL library provided to us by PHP. More information about that library can be found on address php.net slash curl. Let's create a function named getPage, which we will use later to retrieve the remote location. The function has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 arguments, uh, which are defining different things we will need in these functions in order to do our job. These are the URL address we need, the proxy IP, the proxy port, our username and password for the proxy, the user agent we want to present as in front of the remote location server and the timeout which is set by default to 20 seconds. Let's describe the things in more details. First, we initiate the CURL library by using the CURL init function and in the end of our function we will close the CURL library. Now, actually the more interesting thing is in the options set to the CURL library by the function CURL opt. This function has a lot of options which you can find on the documentation of the CURL set opt function on php.net. I will explain in details now what I have used in the current function. The first line CURL set opt, CURL opt user agent defines the user agent we are represented on the remote server. Okay, let's say if we use the usual function file get contents uh, from PHP in order to retrieve remote location, the remote server will store us in its logs as PHP bot or something like that. But if we want to be seen as a real person who is viewing the page through its uh, regular user browser, then we set in this field Mozilla 5 Windows U Windows NT5 and NUSA RV 1.8 1 1.9 Gechko. 2007 1025 Firefox and after the slash the version of the Firefox we want to be represented as user. Let's have a look at the other lines of our script. The second line CRR return transfer is set to true and this indicates that we want the function to return to us the result which the remote server will send to it. The CRL web timeout attribute is for setting timeout in seconds after which if not answer is gotten the server will automatic the script will automatically stop the CRL function and will return timeout error. The next two lines proxy user password and URL opt proxy are for inputting our proxy IP and port and our proxy username and password. They are separated between them with two points. This line CRL opt URL indicates the URL address we are trying to retrieve. Now, please take attention to these 
two lines because they are the most important in the whole function. I've seen hundreds of posts on coding forums for people asking why when they set CRL opt HTTP proxy tunnel to true the CRL functions cannot work behind proxies. Well, actually this must be set to false. Remember this, this is very important. CRL opt HTTP proxy tunnel must be set to false. And we add also CRL proxy out to CRL out any. This means that we are allowing any kind of authentication of the proxy server. The last option set CRL opt follow location set to true give us the content of the page even if it is retrieved after a 301 code moved permanently location redirect which very often occurs on a lot of pages on the world wide web okay on the end of the function i store the result of the retrieving of the remote location in the variable HTML and if there is any error I store this error in the error variable then if I have valid HTML string I return the HTML or this is the content I want to get if the HTML variable is not valid I return the error so to be informed what exactly the problem is. On the bottom of the my, my script I'm calling this function with parameters I have specified on the top of the script. Okay, let's try the script. I have uploaded it on my server and I will make a short demonstration for you to see how it is working. Okay, so I input the address of the script on my server. And I'm retrieving the google.com page in this example. Here we go, this is the Google page stored, showed behind the proxy, that's why the main picture is not showing, because the path in the HTML code to this picture is on a local location and when we call Google in our script and we show it on our server which in this case is livescore slash bg.net uh, we can't see the image because we don't have it on our server that was the short tutorial for how to use proxy servers in your PHP script 
For more information about the URL library, please visit php.net slash curl.